Plasun is leader in lighting and electrical test instruments. Hello everyone, this is Daisy. Let me introduce to you the installation and use of the LSRF3 lamp start, run up time and flicker test system. The following is the video catalog. 1. System installation. 2. Flicker test. 3. Start, run up time test. Please check the packing list according to your order when you receive the shipment. The whole system includes the following parts. LSRF3 lamp start, run up time and flicker test equipment. Here are the accessories. Photo detector, cable for the detector, temperature sensor, USB cable. LSP 500 VARCIEC PSTAC power source. It is used for the samples. Here are the accessories. Power cord, trigger cable, RS-232 communication cable. DC power supply. It is used for the standard lamp. Integrating sphere. This is standard lamp. The powers of the standard lamps are different according to the different sizes of the integrating spheres. There is also a plastic bag in the package that contains a CD, calibrate certificates, and guarantee cards. There is software, user manual, operation video and related standards in the CD. Connect the LSRS3 with computer with USB cable. Connect the temperature sensor cable here. Just put the temperature sensor next to the device. Connect the detector cable here. Connect the other end with the detector. Install the detector to the integrating sphere. Connect the trigger cable from the LSRF3 to the AC power source. Connect the AC power source and DC power supply to the computer using RS-232 communication cable. There are output ports on the front and back of the AC power source. You can use any of them during the measurement. Turn on all the equipment. The touch screen of the LSRF3 displays luminous flux, illumination, or luminous intensity. It is better to change it to luminous flux interface. Calibration or testing can be started 5 minutes after the equipment is turned on. Copy all the files on the CD to the computer. Double click to install the LSRF3 software and the driver. Open the device manager of your computer. You can see the LSRF3 device here if the software and driver installed successfully. There are two software icons on the desktop. One is for flicker test. The other is for starting and run up time test. We need to do zero and calibration before testing. Double click to open the flicker test software. Make sure the integrating sphere is closed and no light inside. Click calibration. Click zero. Open the sphere after the zero is successful. Install the standard lamp to the center of the integrating sphere. Turn on the standard lamp according to the certificate data. Close the integrating sphere. The standard lamp needs about 15 minutes to be stable. Then select luminous flux. Input the luminous flux of the standard lamp. Click calibrate. Turn off and move out the standard lamp. Install the sample to the center of the integrating sphere. Connect the output port of the AC power source to the integrating sphere. Close the integrating sphere. Click single test. Select luminous flux for photometric type. No need to set the distance if it is used together with an integrating sphere. Select the correct model of the AC power source and the correct COM port. The communication cable of the power source is connected with computer. So you can open device manager to confirm which COM port is for the AC power source. Select voltage, frequency, and modulation frequency. Check the automatic function. Then the sample will turn on and turn off automatically. Select sample rate. 
Input sample duration. At least 180 seconds according to the standard. Just select auto for the range. Input the preheat time. The flicker test needs to be done when the sample is stable enough. If you want to do more than one test for the sample, set the interval time here. The standard system doesn't have trigger. So don't check trigger. Click OK to start the test. After the preheating time and test time, you can preview and print the report. Here is the typical flicker test report. Double click to open the starting and run up time test software. Please refer to 2.1 for zero and calibration. Click configuration. Select the correct AC power source model and COM port. Check auto power on and auto power off. Click OK. Step 1, select the right voltage, frequency, and phase angle for your sample. Step 2, click auto get. The software will temporarily turn on the sample and find the correct scale automatically. Step 3, configure the starting time measurement. Step 4, configure the run-up time measurement. Click OK to start the test. After the test, you can preview and print the test report. Here is the typical starting time and run-up test time test report. Thanks for watching.